Radiation can be incredibly destructive to living matter. Disasters like Chernobyl and Fukushima remind us that although there are many benefits to living in the nuclear age, it's not without its dangers. It would be great if, like the Hulk, we could move through or survive in irradiated areas, but unfortunately that's just something in comic books and movies. Or is it? In the Incredible Hulk story, Future Imperfect, we're shown an alternative future where nuclear war and the resultant radiation have killed off most superhumans. The Hulk becomes the ruler of the world, not because he's the strongest there is, but because he can survive in horribly irradiated areas, proving the age-old saying, if you can't beat him, outlive him? So of course, when I read this story, I asked, how can I become resistant to radiation? Well, one way is a pill. Chemists at Berkeley University are developing a pill that will neutralize the radioactive elements in a person's system. So if you're living near Chernobyl and eat some irradiated food, the molecules in this pill will bond with any dangerous elements, change their makeup, and put an end to the radioactivity. But Berkeley is careful to point out that this only works with radiation exposure due to things you ingest. It doesn't help deal with free-floating background radiation. I thought this was really cool, but after reading it, I thought, but I want protection from all forms of radiation. Then I had to ask, wait, what exactly is radiation? Radiation is electromagnetic energy traveling outward from a source, or radiating. There's radiation all around us in the form of light, radio, and microwaves. This radiation doesn't hurt us. I know some people might be saying, hey, my microwave could definitely hurt me. Okay, if there was a human-sized microwave oven and you climbed inside, the microwaves could rattle your water molecules around and cook you like a hot pocket, but that's not technically radiation damage. What we're talking about is radiation that can damage organisms on a molecular level. This is called ionizing radiation. This is what gamma rays, x-rays, and far ultraviolet light are. Ionizing radiation is radiation that carries enough energy to tear electrons away from atoms. If these shredded up atoms happen to be a part of you, this can be a problem. If enough atoms are compromised, your cells start to die. If the atoms making up your cell's DNA are damaged, this can alter that DNA, which are the instructions your cells use for making proteins. DNA damage or cell death on a small scale can be repaired, but on a large enough scale, this can lead to mutation, cancer, or death. So how can we prevent this? Well, one way is to irradiate yourself. Studies have shown that exposure to low doses of radiation can increase radiation resistance. This has been shown in plants, insects, and even human cells. Another way to do this would be to take a look at how other organisms survive radiation. Humans die after being exposed to between 4 and 10 gray of radiation. A tortoise can take up to 15 gray. The cockroach, 64. But despite their reputation for being these incredible survivors of nuclear holocausts, they're really not that tough. Plenty of insects have them beat. The fruit fly can take up to 10 times that much. The flower beetle and parasitic wasps even more. Then we get to the tardigrade, or water bear. These guys are half a millimeter long and can take a lot of punishment. A lethal dose of radiation for them is 5,000 gray. We'll talk a lot more about these guys in a future episode of Science Friction dealing with how to survive in space. But for right now, all you have to know is that these guys can survive just about anything. But when it comes to radiation resistance, they're still number two behind this monstrosity. Dinococcus radiodurans, also referred to as Conan the Bacterium, can survive up to 15,000 gray. It holds the Guinness World Record for toughest bacteria and is so crazy that some scientists claim it came from Mars. It probably didn't, but that would be cool. So how do these organisms survive in conditions that would have human beings dead within a matter of days. Well, they don't have any radiation-proof armor. What they have are cell and DNA repair systems that would have Wolverine drooling with jealousy. We've already identified many of the genes responsible for these repair systems and have found homologous genes in human beings. And scientists have used electron microscopy, 
to watch and study how D. radio Durans is able to isolate damaged segments of DNA and repair them so quickly and effectively. The more we learn about these creatures, the closer we come to assimilating their abilities. Eventually, I'll be able to shrug off gamma rays just as easily as I shrug off criticism from YouTube commenters. Well, hopefully I'll be able to shrug off gamma rays a little bit easier. Some of these comments can stink. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more episodes, check out some of the previous ones, and be sure to let me know what superpower you want.